Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm CS Caravalla from ZK Research, and I'm here inside the DriveNet stand at MWC 25 in Barcelona. I'm with Ido Suzan, the uh, CEO of DriveNet. Ido, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Zeus. How about you? Good, good. Yeah, so for people who don't know who DriveNets is, uh, uh, who are you guys? What do you do? Basically, we are helping um, the service provider and uh, the AI uh, customers to uh, build the network like a cloud. So instead that the network will be based on hardware, we're helping them to build it based on virtualization and to share resource and to benefit all the cloud uh, benefits. Yeah, and that's really a fundamental shift in networking, right? Historically, everything's been hardware based. Yes. Yeah, which leads to a lot of uh, you know, just brittleness in the network. They, you know, I was at an, a little event you did here yesterday where they all, ta all the service providers talked about uh, how hard it how hard it is to adapt their, their infrastructure for new things. And so uh, this is the mission you're trying to solve, I so, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think everybody is familiar with uh, uh, the compute and storage moving to the cloud. Yeah. And we was able to do it with the networking. Yeah, it's the last bastion of IT that is yet to move to the cloud. Right? <laughs> so You're right. Yeah. And so uh, what's been going on with the company lately? How's, uh, uh, how, how's the business been? Uh, in the company level, to be honest, we're doing very, very well. Um, we was uh, we are able to be cash flow positive this year, with more than 200 million dollars revenue. Uh, we have a backlog of over 1.2 billion dollars of signing contracts. Uh, we are able to win more and more uh, tier one service provider and uh, AI clouds. Uh, it's coming from hyperscale uh, through the neo clouds. Uh, for AI clusters and enterprise. So, no complaint. Yeah. We're definitely on track. And we still have a lot of work to do, but... Well, and that, that last point's interesting because you launched as a telco play, but you've picked up more hyperscalers, and then also enterprise have started using you as well. So I think even that audience started to see the importance of shifting to a software model. Definitely. Yeah. Um, on the AI, as you know better than me, um, in order to build a supercomputer uh, to train, to do training or inference, um, you need to build, uh, to connect a lot of GPUs together. Yes. Um, and we are in the mission to help our customer to achieve it. I think we have the technology, we prove it with many of them, but definitely they see us um, as a leader in this technology and we see it's moving forward. Yeah, I think one of the, it's been interesting watching the way the capital markets have reacted to AI because it's obviously when you look at NVIDIA's market cap, you know, in AMD, everyone's aware of the importance that the GPU plays, but more and more the network's playing an important role. But to me, that still is not, it's not as well understood as I thought it would be by now. Let yeah. me try to explain it. Yeah. Um, the challenge on the AI supercomputers is um, you in, you're spending a lot of money on the GPUs. And uh, then you need to connect all the GPUs together to achieve the best performance because you want to monetize your investment. Um, the problem that you are limited by power and rec space. So it's meaning that now you need to distribute your supercomputer over multiple data centers and then the AI and then the network start to be a very key player in the AI because the network start to be the supercomputer themselves. So all the AI cluster that we are talking uh, based on the network, um, they want Ethernet, they want openness, uh, and this is what we are able to deliver to our customers. Yeah, and so you recently launched an AI Ethernet product, right? Correct. Yeah, can, and can you just talk a little bit about the product, what it is, and, um, sure. and uh, uh, you know, what, what audience it's, it's addressing? So, um, as you know, um, in the market, you have three type of networking solution to build your AI cluster. Um, in the past, everybody used InfiniBand. The problem with InfiniBand that it's proprietary, very expensive, and you are not able to converge the two clusters of the compute of the GPUs with the storage. So you're losing a lot of performance. The second option that it's using um, Ethernet clause, like you're using uh, um, the compute and the storage, okay? That you have some different spine architecture with some ECMP in between. Um, and then the AI players try to introduce uh, NIC the, with DPU yeah. um, in order to do spreading over the um, Ethernet cluster. The problem that it's very expensive because now you need for each GPU very expensive NIC with HPM with a lot of memory and you need to optimize the networking to the same model that you want to run. 
in our case, the third solution that we're offering, that all the logic or the brain are in the fabric side. So we're using very cheap nick and all the congestion and everything happening in the fabric side. You don't need to optimize your network parameters. It's always optimal to the same model or any model that you want to run. And more important, it's designed to build, to be distributed over multiple data centers. Okay. Yeah, and so there, um, there's only one InfiniBand player, obviously, right? Uh, there's many, many AI Ethernet players. And so do you feel that last point's really your core differentiation or are there other points as well? Uh, I think this is, yeah. um, from technology perspective, I think this is our killer app. Yeah. Um, we have every month new installation of new customers, uh, even if it's hyperscale or now cloud or um, enterprises that are building thousands of GPUs. Um, and we again and again able to present and show a much better performance compared to any Spectrum X or any Ethernet solution that have in the market. So customer that want to get best performance from the supercomputer or the AI cluster that they're building, from the GPU and all the investment that they're doing, they're coming to us. This is on the technology side. On the company side, um, we're just delivering turnkey solution. Today, in order to build the AI cluster, it's not only to install the GPUs and connect the fibers uh, to the networking. You need to optimize the entire AI cluster to be able to run. So you have nickel testing that you need to run mm. uh, when we're doing this. We help our customer also to automate it um, with open source of um, LLM model like Llama 2 that we're running and show them the performance. So we are not only delivering the networking, we're basically delivering tanky solution with our reference design that it's converge the compute and storage and we are allowed to show our customer this is what you're getting when you buy the reference design from NVIDIA, this is what you're getting when you're buying from us, and these are the performance level. Okay, and um, uh, are there any customers you can talk about? Maybe a little quick case study on some of this deployment? I think we were going to have a multiple PR, you know, okay. we are very... Uh, so stay we, tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. And we are uh, always working side by side with our customer. In the next um, three months, you will see many PRs that are coming out. Um, and um, they're impressive. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud about uh, DriveNet and my employees. Yeah, and you've also uh, taken a partnership strategy here, right? You have some partners on the side? Yes. Yeah, and can you talk about who those might be and what they bring to your uh, ecosystem? Yeah, so of course, uh, our best partnership is starting from Broadcom, that we are working side by side with them to help to design better uh, the chipset that will fit to the use case of the AI. Um, we took the J3 and we make J3 AI that basically it's coming without the HBM, it's coming with many, uh, it's very cheap and very optimized for um, the training and the inference. Uh, so this is the first partnership that we have. The second, we have partnership with uh, the hardware ecosystem, with Acton that Acton, are working yeah. together with them. And as you can see here, we already see the 800 gig uh, white boxes that uh, basically um, we're delivering to our customer, um, you know, 8K or up to 32,000 GPU clusters. Um, and the last one, we have many uh, small integrators that are working with us. Um, that help us to do the rack and stack ordering the GPUs, and together we really create one plus one equals three. Yeah, I saw a couple here at the booth yesterday. In fact, a couple of big integrators too, so it's not just small ones. You're right. uh, yeah, and uh, uh, so this is uh, really, I think, fulfilling on the promise that white box has had for a while. Obviously, pure white box is too complicated for a lot of enterprises. Can you give me an idea, a little bit of an idea from a, just a TCO perspective? what your solution would look like versus one of the more established vendors? Yeah, definitely. Um, from the TCO perspective, we see between 20 to 30% cost reduction um, and better amortization. Let me explain where it's coming from. Today, when you're going and building with, let's take Spectrum X uh, solution, the cluster, you basically has two clusters. You have the GPU and you have the storage and you have something that's connected between them. And the reference design, it's not optimal because our, uh, the big incumbent like NVIDIA want to sell more. Yeah. In our case, what we want, we want to pr provide the best efficiency from the GPU that they bought. So we have one cluster that connected the compute and storage to be as the same network fabric, and we have all the automation on top in order to be able to optimize the GPU to get a maximum. 
Um, we see it um, as long as the model that they're training are bigger and the supercomputers or the AI cluster are bigger, so we're getting more and more and more saving. Yeah, well, that's uh, tw- I mean that's significant, right? Considering how much companies are going to be spending on their AI infrastructure. Correct. So, yeah. Thank well, you. congratulations on the launch. Is there anything else you want to add? Oh, just thank you very yeah. much. Looking forward to meet you next year and yeah. to continue delivering our mission to provide the best technology and value to our customers. All right, you know, well, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, so on behalf of Ido Suzan from DriveNet, I'm ZS Caraval from ZK Reaches. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button and give us uh, and uh, give us a follow too. So uh, on behalf of Ido, I'm ZS Caraval saying thanks for watching. See you next time on the next episode of Zcast. Thanks, Ido. Know.